Also. Same play, good call, Brand. Cover. He was having his calves worked on on the bench, and during the timeouts, he's constantly stretching it. He's taking extra fluid. Certainly something to watch to see if he could play through it, Jim. He made that, though. There were three Red Raiders there for the rebound, but he's just able to get a fingertip and tap it out to Clark. As he did with that missed free throw, too. He saved the season. Yep. Nice cover by Guy. Another open shot. shot. Oh, things are warming up. Francis. On DeAndre Hunter, that is foul number five for Virginia. Oregon just two fouls in this second half. Oh, kind of getting pushed into the pick and roll. Now he can become a playmaker and he just doesn't have the drip. Shot clock at two, and here is King. King buries a three. They're going to need a big second half if they are going to advance. The 15 other teams in the Sweet 16 besides Oregon, all seeds one through five. There's a good start. Ball one. Edwards on the floor, very good going left with the bounce. They do a great job flash screening. Logical difficulty for kids. Here's Brown. His first buckets. They were up 10 when he picked up his fourth. I would drive him now. He's such an important force. Behind the back to Purifoy. He's driving in. Up high with it for two more. Down to him. Key Clark, all of 5'9, able to get one high. Virginia up six. Oregon with Pritchard to the rack. So strong. Catch. And Tracy's point from earlier, Bruce Pearl said it best. Can't play hero basketball. All movement, player movement, trust each other. Draw a kick. That's what they do. Down eight. There you go. Oh, he gets it to go. Rattles around and drops. 18-13, get... Virginia. Auburn's got to trust their offense. Can't settle. I'd like to see them try to get into that defense off the ball penetration like this right here. Ball's robbed and put down big time by Anthony McLemore. Make it a three, but foot on the line. You know, he's got so many similarities to me to Jerry West, the way he springs in the air and goes as high as he has. The nice attack cover. Over. Jim, Jerome, and Kyle Guy, they're not phased shooting in this big stadium. They played and shot well over the course of their career in the Carrier Dome against Syracuse. Right, that's a good point. Brown. He's got one from outside. He can make him. Francis, who's led them in this game with 13. The defense makes you use a lot of clock. Good help. The Akite. Ryan, floating, hitting again. Has Virginia in control. Are you slanderizing the pace? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you get an open opportunity, he's your team, you got to seize it. Nice little fade screen. Mooney, look at this corner. cover. Moretti on a wing. And finally, the Red Raiders have to winner. Yes, sir. Absolutely. His confidence at an all time high. Big time tie goal. But right now, Texas Tech just cannot score. They can't find a scoring opportunity. That guy should be on the floor like that. They dodge one. So much for stretching out these possessions. This game's opened up. <laughs> it's not really all of uh, Barry about yet. Not yet, yet but <laughs> more than some thought as Edwards will head to. You know, not getting into your set quick enough. Mentally, this is a revved up team. They're a go go. Girl boys on the go. And Diakite denied him. What a block by Mo Edwards pushes it ahead. Top of the key, he wants it. That's and it. he gets it. He can Down 10, now got a chance on this trip to take the lead inside two minutes. Just a little more motion running the baseline. Here's that little flex and pin down. A little action. Brown wants it, shoots it. Go! Boy, I don't know where that's been. Eight feet for a big fella. And they cover the back beautifully for him. Auburn needs a basket to settle down. Hasn't scored in this half. Four and a half in. Here's Brown with a three. Virginia starters played most of the game on Thursday in their victory against Oregon. All but 12 minutes the starters played.